All right, so I'm going to start off with prayer. I always like to start off with the prayer. So, Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for this Faith Friday, Lord God. We thank you for every single person that is on this call. We thank you for every single goal that you have allowed us to accomplish. We thank you for every single goal that you have placed in us that gets us excited for, for the next steps in our life, Lord God. And we ask you that you will guide us every single step and that whatever is for us, you will bring for us and that it will come to us without any problems and any hassles, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, for forgiveness. So if there's anything that anybody be, may be holding in terms of um, unforgiveness or things like that, we actually that you will forgive us for those things knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God, and that you will bless us, Lord God, with your presence, with your spirit, and that you would be the person that will speak, that they would see you and not me, Lord God. I am just a vessel to be used by you, Lord. And I ask you, Lord God, that you would touch every heart and every mind here, Lord God, that they will get something special out of this call. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so the very first thing that I do want to say is about being broken. So this call today is about healing, um, and it's about putting God first. These are two things that initially I was just going to talk about healing, and then I was on somebody's live earlier, and as I was just thinking about it and thinking about it throughout the day, the Lord led me. I told you the Lord was going to change my message at the end like he always does. And it brought me here and it just morphed into healing and putting God first. And I'm going to bring those two together and I'm going to give you that message today. And I hope that it blesses your heart. So I do want to start off with talking about being broken. So being broken means, means having your soul ripped apart, your confidence lost, and your dreams non-existent. Being broken means losing your lust for life. It means not being able to get up out of your bed because you, because you see no point. Being broken means thinking that you will never be able to put yourself back together. It means that you never see yourself going to the next level despite how much hard you work, despite anything that you do, you'll never see yourself going there. That's what being broken is but i'm here to tell you that each and every one of us have hope despite our brokenness and sometimes in terms of brokenness we feel that periodically despite all the good things that are happening some of us are, are meeting our goals and yet we have these moments where we feel like oh my gosh it's too much how can i keep up oh my gosh you know i i don't know what to do that 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 doubt, that feeling like uh, and you and, and it takes you down a hole, which can leave you feeling broken. But I'm telling you, we have hope, and there's healing for us. Okay, so I want you all to note Psalms 34, and when you get a chance, I want you to read through the entire Psalm. Um, I'm not going to read through it all, but I am going to read like two sections of it because there's two, two sections of it that, that drew out to me. And I just want you to read that on your own, meditate on it and think about what these words mean. If you cannot read the King James Bible, find something that you do understand, okay? So that you can understand it. And if you want a, a, a com more complete understanding, I will help you. If you have questions, send me questions, okay? So I'm going to be reading Psalm 34, verse 4 through 9, uh, and then I'll be reading Psalm 34, 17, 17 through 22. So Psalm 34, number 4, means I, says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around, round about them that fear him and delivereth him. Oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. So now there's there's something that's happening here. It's it's like there's an action and then there's a reward. 
So if you look, if you listen in Psalm 6 and, and 34 verse 6, uh, verse 4, I mean, it says, I sought, and then the reward was he delivered. And then go down two verses, the poor man cried, the Lord heard, and then the reward was he saved him. You know, sometimes it's almost like we feel like we have no way, but if we just would open our mouths and realize that there's a power within us that, that continuously walks with us regardless, you all can feel it. Whenever you hear a little voice that tells you not to do something or don't reach out to this person or go talk to this person about this, that is the God in you telling you and guiding you toward in a specific direction, but it's up to you to take that action, okay? With every action, there's a reward or there's a consequence, okay? So, so that's the first part. Now, the next half of, uh, of what, I, what I wanted to speak about is Psalm 34, 17 through 32. And it says, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of all of them. He keepeth all his bones, and not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And this verse right here is very, very important. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. None of you that trust in God, that trust in that power, that trust that, that no matter what, if you would just believe, that if you would just know in your hearts, it's almost like how we talk about manifesting. All of it is one. All of it is together. Believing in God, manifesting, believing in ourselves because we got God within us. All of those things, believing in that power within us, and knowing that if we just continue to trust, that we just continue to, to do, we will not fall. We will not perish. We can continue to go. We can continue to move. And we don't have to be broken. A lot of us are struggling with things. A lot of us are allowing things to break us apart. But if you would just trust in God, if you would just trust in the fact that no matter what happens, no matter what evil is out there, it, it says the evil shall slay the wicked. They, so that means that they will kill themselves. They will, they will flip up and slip up themselves. So everybody that has something negative to say against you, anybody that comes against you, that if you would just trust in God and trust in the path that you're going through, there's nothing that they can say to get to you because they're going to flip their own self up because they spoke negatively about you, because they said you couldn't do something, because they said that you weren't capable, because they said that, that you know, they didn't want to support you because of all, whatever preconceived notion that they had about you or about what you're doing, okay? So people are going to hate on you. Let's just peep it up a hundred. People are going to hate on you. People are going to speak nasty about you. But remember what I told you, you reap what you sow, okay? So, the, so right here it says the evil shall slay the wicked. That means what they're sowing out there by talking negatively about you, they're going to reap on themselves. What you put out comes right back on you. I think Neno talked about the law, the law of karma. It's all interconnected. You know, the Bible, all these things are interconnected. What you put out there comes right back unto you. So let them hang themselves. Why are you guys allowing them to have so much power over you? I need you to, I need you to literally, in the spirit, in the physical, dust your shoulders off with every single little thing that's out here trying to keep you from going to the next level. And I need you to know that you are powerful beyond measure. That God made you and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. 
that God did not make a mistake when he made you, that God knew what he was doing. Every hair on your head is counted. Every move you have made to this point, he saw already. So forget all the naysayers. Forget all of those that want to talk down about you. Forget all of those that want to put limitations on you because they think they know you. Or, they, or you have a past. We all have a past. They think they know you because of your past. And they want to see you in that same box. But honey, that's not you no more. You want something else. You want to be something else. So if that is the case, grab it. Take that. Be that. Close your ears to all that mess. Put it all aside. Let them hang themselves. Let what they do out there. Let them do themselves. Find yourself a new circle. Lock them out. Family, friends, I don't care who it is. Sometimes I know we love our family. Trust me. I love mine. In extended, you know, the, the closest ones around me. But if you are not of the right energy, if you are not coming with positive vibes, if you are going to speak negatively, you are going to get put aside. I will say, hi, I love you, but we will not spend any real time together. Why? Because one rotten apple can ruin the whole bunch. And you are what you are around. Just like somebody laughs, and then you notice that you laugh just like them. Oh, that negativity is, is contagious. That's, that's, like, that's like the cooties. You don't want those cooties. They keep that over there to themselves. So be strong. God, if God, listen, each and every one of us are capable. I don't care, listen, I don't care about your education level. I don't care what you know, what you don't know. I don't care. You are capable. You are powerful. You can do it. I don't care what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how broken you've been. It don't matter how broken you currently are. But remember, you are powerful. This world will have you to think that, that it's impossible. You know, and this woman, this woman, she's actually on, on um, one of my sidelines, downlines. And she was speaking in Spanish and she was saying, you know, we like to do things for God, but not with God. You know, we like to do things for God, but not with God. How much more successful would we be if we allow God to be a part of every single little thing that we do? If we prayed over a conversation right before we had it. If we prayed over our businesses every single day, if we did some of those things and walked with God with us, how much more successful would we be? It says the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. My God, I know this from experience. It just happened to me. I mean, it's happened to me periodically over my life, but the most craziest thing just happened to me last month. But I trusted in God. And there were people that said, oh my gosh, you, you, you know, I hope you make it. I hope you make it. Oh my gosh, did I distance myself from that person? Because it's not hope. It's, I know I'm going to make it because I have God with me. I don't care what a doctor says. I don't care what anybody else says. But I know that 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 this is what's going to happen. And that's exactly what having faith is. So for those of you who feel broken, for those of you who feel like you're not going anywhere, I'm telling you, if you put God first, nothing. Not, nothing would be impossible for you because we can do all things with God because he is our strength. He is our healer and he is our redeemer. You got to believe it. You got to trust it.
I know all of us are connected. Well, most of us are connected because of a business, because of something that we're building together, because we all have the same goals and we all have the same mindset of trying to go somewhere and do something great. But one thing that I've learned about being a part of this business is that it's more than about reaching top rank and getting you know, a $20,000 bonus. It's more than the recognition. It's more than that. We're really developing ourselves spiritually, mentally, physically in so many ways. And my God, my God, like anybody who has ever been successful, I bet you, nine times, 99% of the time, they're going to tell you that if it wasn't for God, they wouldn't have made it this far. So I'm telling you, trust in God. You know, there's going to be people that say that you can't do it. Maybe you haven't hit that MMP rank in the company yet. Maybe you don't even have a market partner yet. You know, or maybe you've been stagnant at a specific rank. But I'm telling you, if you will put God, for, put God first and trust and not think negatively, negatively of yourself and believe that you can do it, you will do it. I'm telling you, you will do it. I am telling you. I'm, I, listen, the Lord said, don't bet. But if I could bet, I would bet on God 110% that he will do it for you. If you would just trust, give yourself, give yourself 30 days of just trusting, just speaking positivity and not saying anything negative. And if when you, when you start to think negative, switch your mindset right away. I'm telling you, things will change. Things that, that you would never even thought would change just from doing those things. Got a stubborn husband? Oh my gosh. Think differently. Trust God. God could change that man. <laughs> got, a, got an illness? Oh, well, so look, I know from experience, God could change that thing. You know, got a, got a business issue where you're feeling like you're not growing? Oh my gosh, trust in God. God will change. I'm telling you, I know that from experience too. You know, you, you, you sign a few people up and they don't do what they need to do or they don't, they don't follow through because they haven't caught the vision like you've caught it. It's okay. Ask God to send you people that are like-minded. I promise you that's what I did the month before hitting MMB. That's what I exactly, that's, I'm telling you, that's exactly what I did. I put my trust in God, period. I said, Lord, send me people that are going to catch the vision and that are like-minded and that want to work with me, that really will value my mentorship. And he sent me two gems that took it and ran. It is possible. Nothing is impossible. It just how much are you willing to take? How much are you willing to sacrifice? How much are you willing to serve? What are you willing to do for this thing? Come on, you can do it. Okay, so that's my message. I'm gonna end this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>